Good morning friends. Today is 2nd October 2023, Monday, 26th week in ordinary time. Today the church celebrates the feast of the holy guardian angels. The concept of a guardian angel is of a tutelary spirit assigned by God to watch over, protect and guide us. It is a colorful expression of the belief in a personal divine providential care as thought by Jesus. In the gospel, angels are envoys between God and human beings and the words of Jesus makes this belief more personal. See that you despise not one of these little ones for I say to you that they are angels in heaven always see the face of my father who is in heaven. Matthew chapter 18 verse 10. The idea of garden angels is also implied in Hebrews chapter 1 verse 14. Are they not ministering spirits serving those who shall be heirs of salvation? We are told that an angel escorted St. Peter out of prison. Acts chapter 12 verse 12 and following. Another instance is the angel who comforted Jesus in the garden during his, his, ag his agony in the eve of his passion. Luke chapter 22 verse 43. A verse in the letter to the Hebrews says, Do not neglect to show hospitality to strangers, for by so doing some have entertained angels without knowing it. Hebrews chapter 13 verse 2. The author seems to be saying that there, that there can be more to those who cross our path uh, of in life than we realize. Jesus makes the same point in today's gospel passage when, he's, when he says, Anyone who welcomes, welcomes a little child welcomes me. Uh, 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 in my name. Matthew chapter 18 verse 5. In the world of those times, the child had no social status or position. Yet, Jesus declares to his disciples that in welcoming the least like little children, they are welcoming him. He comes to them in, in and through the least. This is a sobering lesson for the disciples who have just been arguing uh, over which of them was the greatest. Not only do we welcome Jesus when we welcome a child, but unless we become little children, we will never enter the kingdom of God. Instead of selfish attitude of competing to be the greatest, or if we are to enter the kingdom of God, we must have something of the receptive attitude of children who depend totally on others. Only those who admit their, their, their littleness and put their trust in God will enter the kingdom of heaven. God bless us all today.